Grade 3 math number 76. Fraction of a total and division. Division can help you with fractions. Let me show you. We've got 12 blue tulips and the problem we have is we need to find out what a third of 12 is. So we're going to use division. We're going to say how many times can 3 fit into 12, which is 12 divided by 3. Well, division is the opposite of multiplication and vice versa. Multiplication is the opposite of division. They're the inverse actions of each other. So in order to find out what one-third of 12 is, we're just going to divide 12 by 3. And if you know your times table, you know that 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So one-third of 12 is going to be 4 tulips. So we would circle four tulips. See how the division helped us? One-third of 12 is four. So we circled four. Now we have one-fifth of 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide 15 by five. Five times what is 15? Five times three. So one-fifth of 15 would be 3, and we would circle 3 of these flowers. Now we have half of 18. Do you know what we're going to do here? We're going to do 18 divided by 2, the denominator and this whole number. 18 divided by 2 is, what's 2 times 9? 2 times 9 is 18, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. Half of 18 is 9, so we need to circle 9 of these grape candies. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that is half of them. That's half of the grape candies. Let's take a look at this one. We've got eight green dots. We need to find an eighth of the eight. So we're going to divide eight by eight. How many times can eight fit into an eight? Just one time. So one eighth of eight is one and we'll circle one green dot. See that? Now we have goldfish. We've got 20 goldfish and we need to find a fourth of 20. So we're going to divide 20 by 4 because this is the denominator and that's the whole number and it tells us that we need to divide. What times 4 equals 20? Do you know? Do you know your times table? What can go into 20 four times? 4 times 5 is 20. So 1 fourth of 20 is 5 and we'll circle five goldfish. That'll be one-fourth of 20. Now we have 18 red dots. We need to find one-sixth of 18. So we're going to divide 18 divided by 6. Do you know your times table? 6 times what is 18? 6 times 3. So 1 6 of 18 is going to be 3. We'll circle 3 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See, there would have been 6 groups, and one of the 6 groups would have 3 in it. See that? So now i got a little word problem for you. And we'll use division to solve it. Emma picked 15 flowers. One third of them are yellow. How many yellow flowers did Emma pick? So we know 15 is important in the word problem and one-third is important in the word problem. So to solve this, we're going to say 15 divided by 3. 3 times what is 15? 3 times 5. So 5 of the flowers are yellow. One-third of 15 is 5.
So, that's how division can help you do your fractions or multiplication. But you want to divide to find out one-fourth of 20 or one-fifth of 15, and you'll get your answer. That was easy, wasn't it? See you next video.